Happy Monday, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. We're continuing in Proverbs. We're in Proverbs chapter 12 today. Uh, look, both my parents were workaholics. They worked hard at work, and when they came home, they worked hard at home. When I was a child, we had chores, we did work projects. My parents even went through a crazy phase where they built houses. They, they thought it'd be something fun to do. And, and so uh, I grew up trying to avoid work because that was just kind of what our family did. Even when we visited relatives, my dad always had a project to do when he got there. Something to fix, something to build. Uh, it was always about work. In fact, uh, my uh, parents never learned how to play until we were adults and we kind of taught them how to relax and how to play. I think I was 18 when my parents took their first like vacation that didn't involve work. Uh, and, and so uh, I remember hearing all the time growing up, uh, hard work never hurt anyone. And I used to think, well, tell that to my blisters. So uh, truth is, I'm thankful that my parents instilled a, a terrific worth ethic in me. They taught me how to work and it's paid great dividends in my life. Proverbs affirms that. Uh, there's three verses in Proverbs 12 that are all about hard work. I'm just going to share one. Proverbs 12, 11, whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits lacks sense. So what's Solomon telling us? He's telling us to work. Work hard. Work for God. It's not just serving you and your family, it's blessing the kingdom of God. See, work is part of God's design for us, for life in this world. I don't know if you realize this or not, but even before there was sin, there was work. God had assigned Adam to take care of the garden that he had put him in. He, had, he, he was landscaping. He was doing horticulture. He was you know, taking care of things. And by the way, uh, in heaven, we're going to work. That's right, when it's perfection, we're still going to have a purpose. After all, we are servants of the living God. And so you're going to have a job in heaven, but the good news is you're going to love it, every bit of it. Now, honestly, when I think about working in heaven, I don't have a clue what I'm going to do because they're not going to need preachers, so I'll probably get to clean toilets or something fun like that. But it won't matter because it'll be perfect joy, and I love every moment of it. So today, work well. It will bless you. And I hope that this has blessed you today. And by the way, get to work.